Hey adventurers, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. We're back with episode 2 of Wildermyth. In the last episode, we saved Machu from an underground cult. We hired Knight to join us. Uh, Machu got a splinter, which infused him with Elm Soul, giving him great healing properties. We just uh, secured an another outpost, and uh, we're going to see where the adventure takes us today. Let's get started. So we got some Fern Shadow Pauldrons, uh, giving us more dodge. Shall we make Machu a dodge machine? Oh, Hunters already has really high dodge at 74, or actually 69. 69, let's see. Um, let's give Machu some more dodge. So let's see. Okay, so we have Bright Dream Extractory taken care of. Let's head over to Rusty Bear Aspens. I could split up the team. But at this higher difficulty, I don't want to take any chances. Ooh, now Hunter and Knight are rivals. So t enough time has passed where new Calamity cards are coming on, on the floor. Uh, we should probably remove some, some, uh, some of these cards, like this and maybe this. That's like three. That's a lot. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Okay, Mud Blight Barrow. Okay, so we're gonna have everyone attack. The night before the Battle of Mud Blight Barrow, Hunter provides the evening's entertainment. The story of Shadar Stark, the Arcane. It's a classic. Shadar Stark, the Arcane, and Hunter takes his time with it. And Shader the Arcane raised his hand high and threw them forward, and a great ball of fire swallowed them up, or swallowed up the goblins. If only Machu could cast Fireball. Ugh, what do you know? Can you convince a tree to explode on your enemies? I hate this story. Also, goblins? We should be so lucky. Feh. Oh, what's that in the background? Did you see that? So we got two options. Grab your gear, let's follow it, or it's not a deepest, let's stick to the plan. 58% chance, let's go for it. Okay, you're gonna interfuse. That way. Now right. It's leading us. Wait, maybe. Yes. It's Mud Blight Barrow. Oh, they're all sleeping. What's this? Are you trying to kill me, little one? I can't drink this. I'd go blind. It's... Ma and Machu the Arcane lifted his arms up. Years later, Hunter still told the story. It's perfect. And threw them forward. Thank you, little one. We can handle the rest. Oh, it's, it's a Molotov. <laughs> and a great fireball swallowed up the deepest. Okay, so we're facing off against these guys. I thought something special would happen. Anyways, uh, let's see. Halcades, no. Uh, let's see. Machu, what can you do? You can interfuse with some rocks. Um, I want something that can do like... Let's see. I think we're going to interfuse with the improved fireball. Oh, improvised fireball. Once per combat, Machu carries one of these here clay pots into battle. Ooh, nice. Shall we use it right away? Okay. Sure. Go for it. Whoa. It kills one of them. Okay. Cool. Let's uh, take this guy out. You're dead. And now, uh, Alcides. Now that's a rock thrower, so let's hide behind cover, and we'll guard, and uh, let's go over here, and let's see, if we shoot versus Cone of Fire, I like Cone of Fire, only one damage, so he sets off the alarm, aha, you took cover, let's see, uh, let's move you forward, 
see if I can change the angle a little bit. We're going to interfuse with uh, that shrine. We're going to steal the fire and throw it on top of this guy. Nice. Good damage. And now Knight will move forward and finish him. Nice. 10 damage. That's crazy. Okay. Guys are probably going to burst through that door and we'll be ready with a nice guardian to the face. Uh, Hunter will silk step right here. Oh, I guess they're not coming. Okay, fine. Uh, open the door. Oh, there they are. Uh, let's see. Machu, can you fire leash? You can't. Hmm. I wonder if we should just let them come to us. There. Guardian. Guardian. And let's move over here. And we're going to shoot this guy. Nice. Good dead. Okay. And let's see. Let's move Machu forward. And we're going to interfuse with this mushrooms now. And Machu has naturalist as a perk. So he has vine, re vine wrench, which is a better version of wild grass. Basically doing more damage, right? Does more damage. So let's do it. Uh, vine wrench. Uh, I'll, I'll hit this guy instead. Oopsies. Okay. That guy's dead. Okay, here comes the Woken. Ooh, you're dead. Okay, let's move forward. Actually, Hunter, why don't you try to take out this guy? Or why don't we Kona fire you? Okay. And um, Machu, do the Vine Wrench again. We'll move him uh, here. Oh, and it pulls. Nice. So it pulls him closer so that we can go from behind. And you'll notice this uh, special symbol right here. We'll do extra damage. I think extra damage or like something. But victory anyways. More experience. You'll notice I'll say he's a four star hero versus everyone else is one or two. That means I've used him multiple in, in previous games before. So we got the bear, string, uh, bear strength ring giving us bonus damage. I'm going to give it to Knight or Alcides. Ooh, damn. Uh, we're going to give it... Oh, actually, we could give it to Hunter, too. Well, I want Hunter to do a little more damage. So, Hunter, you're going to get it. Okay, Calamities. Oh, damn. The Woken Fighters are going to get strong. Okay. Okay. Done. So we're going to secure Mudblight Barrow. This time, you know what? We're just going to work faster because we don't want the bad... There's enough Calamities in this game and we don't want more. Okay, site is secure. And there's always a chance that we'll get an item anyways. Mudblight Barrow has been cleaned and put in good order with time left for a few days of comfort. And we still found something, which is great. We found Feather Steel Pauldrons. So that's a speed thing. Ooh, we can make Hunter super fast. Uh, let's see. I think I want Hunter to be even faster. Look at these nice shoulders. Got horn shoulders. Now the question is, do we want to go here? I guess we'll go here. Because technically the objective of this thing is to clear all hostile sites. Uh, which way? Counterclockwise this way or this way? I guess we'll go to this place first, since it's closer. Okay. Here's something you won't see underground. Never knew about this place. Not many do. Sometimes when your spirits feel dirty, it helps to have a place you can wash it clean again. Gives you cause to, you know, keep going. Can I ask you a serious question? The cult, the deepest. You don't look like one of them. In fact, they don't look like anyone I've ever seen. Can you explain that? Oh. 
Falling streams rush, splash, and sing. Tadpoles float aimlessly round in clear water. Older frogs are scarce and furtive. I saw it happen. By that time, I'd been down there for two days. You lose track. There was someone else, Brony. Brony was his name. Earlier arrival. He was all ready for the ceremony. Took his oaths. The oaths I took. I can't remember them. I ate a mushroom of some kind. Fell asleep. Your oaths are completed when you awaken from them. Brony went before me. He consumed what they gave him, and he went into the chamber of dreams to sleep. He was in there a day or so, and then a pair of priests went in, and I could hear, I'm not so sure. The man who came out had Brony's body, face, but different, warped, pulled, whittled away at, could barely speak, skin gone strange, pigments leached and blued and weirded, did, at he, did as he was bidden, ate when he was bidden. You saw, you saw all that, but you were going to let them do it to you? My choices were gone by that point. The only hope was through. And by through you mean... The deepening is a process, is how it was explained to me. While Brony took a step back to his blank and more primitive state, it was only in order to prepare him for his descent. And as he lowered himself, his mind would be reborn, better, deeper, more powerful, blessed by the prophet, and he would be embraced, valued, loved by his brethren all. It's like graduating from one stage to another, growing up or down, I suppose. The noises of these delicate falls isn't loud enough. Their dampening skins and clothes feel cold, fingers numb, blue. Time to go? Mm, right, yes. Come on, Machu. Miles to make before the sun falls. Let's not be idle. Coming. Okay. So if we want to build an outpost here, it'll cost us a legacy point. So it's no battle, actually. So uh, let's see. Uh, we can make we can make a, an outpost of our choice, costing us one legacy point. We have three right now. I think we're going to go with... Let's see... Let's split it. Actually, the other place I believe gave us fabrics. So let's go for hides instead. Everyone will craft together. Okay, tannery established. And let's go to built wood. Stuff are happening soon. Okay, we're at Chromo Books. Sir. Hard not to be on edge in this fog, isn't it? Feeling pretty mortal, honestly. You? So we can... Well, I wonder what we'll find. We'll survive it. Ah, we'll do this one. Yeah, I know that feeling. How about you watch my back and I'll watch yours? Not an original plan, but solid enough for me. Knight or Knight and Alcides gain temporary armor and warding. Plus one armor and warding, which is good for my warriors. Okay, we're facing off against these bone guys. Okay, okay. So, ooh, there's a stone spirit. And he's just gonna run right into the enemies. Matthew, why don't you... <laughs> I wonder if my guys can do it. I don't know. It's too dangerous. I don't think it's worth it. I don't want to like risk match you like dying. Oh, he dodged. Okay, Matthew, you're not going in there now. <laughs> oh, we can do improvised fireball and hit everything. Go for it. Oh. The spirit died. Sorry, spirit. Okay. 
we are going to move up forward and we're in a guard and we'll move right here technically he should be here to get more armor defense but i'm hoping someone walks right here and we can double kill oh he's gonna shoot oh my armor got shredded and uh hunter will retaliate range retaliate Ooh, look at that big guy What the? Man, we got some big bad guys right there. Okay, so, Knight, why don't you uh, move forward? We'll take out this wild bling. And, um, I'm gonna put this guy here. We'll guard. Hunter. Why don't we move forward? And uh, we're going to Cone of Fire. Oh, Cone of Fire will hit. 50% chance to hit though. And these guys are, are are behind cover, so it'll do, there's less of a chance of it happening. Let's aim for the Watchman. Nice. Three damage. Okay. We're gonna move Machu here. We're gonna interfuse with uh, Rubble or Lamp. Now we'll interfuse with the with the rubble, and hopefully we can shackle someone. Probably this guy. 100% chance to s stop him. Okay. Shackle. And it shredded some armor, so that's good. It'll make him a little bit weaker. Ooh. These guys are taking damage. Uh oh They're all right there. Okay. What's wrong here? There's some there's some looks like there's some sort of trap right there. Let's see. Uh let's you know what? Let's cone of fire these guys. Okay. And I'm gonna move over here. And we'll interfuse with the fire. And we're gonna fire leash and hit everyone. Three people. We're gonna hit three people with fire. Leaf. And that did nothing. Okay. I'm gonna move right here, and I'm going to guard. And um, I'll have him guard too. Come around the corner. Ooh, good dodge. Nice. Retaliation range. Oh man! Missed. One guy's gone. That guy's still pinned. Uh, let's see, Machu, what can you do? You can still shackle this guy. I think we should shackle him again. Okay, good. He's pinned again. Hunter, why don't you shoot this guy? Nice, that's a good hit. Okay, and oh, he can actually attack again. Nice. Good job. And uh, Knight will come in and hopefully finish this guy off. Nope, he won't. Alcides, let's go and flank him. Nice damage. That should be it. Got some more experience. We found the Cloak of Illumination, which gives us stunt chance, critical hit chance, basically. So let's see, did anyone have high crit chance? Ooh, Knight has really high crit chance. I wonder if we should just keep giving him, like, stack that crit. Um, let's see. I think I actually want to give it to Alcides. Look at that. It's so much. He has, like, a little pet with him. Okay. So Calamities, ooh, Butler. Okay, let us secure this place. We're gonna work faster, because there's gonna be an invasion soon. Chromal books have been cleaned and put in good order with time left for a few days of comfort. We got spell thread, and now we're gonna go to Aldolf Timber. Once we go there and clear that area, we'll head down to Bitter Lizard Plain. Ooh, there's going to be a bad thing happening soon. 
We're gonna assault Rosa Shrine now. Our stars climb high tonight. Oh, are those ones ours? Always climbing around our little stars. It's a good omen. You believe in omens, Machu? You start to spend enough time alone. You start having conversations with existence. Omens, signs, fortune. Why can't they just be stars? Why do they have to mean anything? Let's see. The old song wants to rise out of me. The stars always have told their own stories. Maybe Machu sees something I don't. And so it's a chance. Uh, let's go with Machu again. I can't sing it, not in front of them. The stars harden, mute and motionless. Loneliness fills everyone like rainwater falling in buckets. Old fears trickle through them. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good for modifiers. So we're facing uh, against these guys. Okay, let's see. Uh, Machu, why don't you... I'm afraid of moving you too far forward. Let's, uh... We could put Hunter forward. Forward. Let's, uh, silk step you into here. Okay. Machu, what are we gonna do? If I go here, I can get a hold of this dump. Which we'll be able to shred and pierce. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, how far? Tree calls. Summon an ally to a space next to you. Oh, let's try that. Okay, so he's going to interfuse. Let's see, can you throw a fireball that far away? You can. You can throw fireballs so far away. Go for it. Okay. Um, I'm going to move forward. Protect Hunter. Actually, no, that was not good. Okay. Here comes a Griever. Uh-oh, he can interfuse. Uh-oh. These guys, like, are all casters. Uh-oh. <laughs> I need to move away from all these things that they're interfusing with. That's not good. Damn. They interfuse with everything around them. Okay. Let's, uh... Whoa, I don't know what to do. Let's go here and kill this guy. Yeah, you're dead. Um, Alcides has a special ability that allows him to hit uh, at a range of two, which is great. Good. You're dead too. We need to get away once again from all these things that are interfused with. I'm going to move uh, over here maybe. And I'm going to Cone of Fire these guys. Nice. And let's move together. And let's interfuse with uh, that fire. And we're going to Fire Leash into these three guys. Nice. But it's not enough to kill him. Oh, but he dies from the fire that he's standing in. Also him. That's great. This guy's taking additional damage. Ooh, you took some good... Ooh! No, 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 no! Hunter, don't take any more damage! Okay, we need to win in this round. Uh, let's see. Is that good? Good job. Okay, and I want you to go here. Okay. There you go. Ooh, Hunter almost died there. Oh, Knight leveled up. Knight is now a Bloodhorn Warrior. Let's see, melee attacks only cost one action. That's probably what I'm going to go with. Uh, yes, um, that's what I'm going to go with. Battle Dance. We got a Crow Feathered Talisman giving us um, Spell Resist. Who shall we give it to, though? I think we'll give it to, uh, let's see, we'll give it to Knight. Okay, Thrixels become stronger. 
and uh, we're gonna end this episode by securing Rosa Shrine. So uh, we're gonna stop the video here. Thanks so much for joining me today with my another episode of Wilder Myth. I hope you're having fun. Uh, check out the rest of my channel for other videos on Wilder Myth, video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>